Hi, I'm Treasurer Dennis Milligan. I'd like to welcome our Kansans to our office in the state capitol to view the new Arkansas Military Veterans Hall of Fame that was recently unveiled. Thank you to our nation's finest, both past and present, who have fought for the freedoms we all enjoy today. William Leon Russell, deceased, is represented tonight by his wife, Gladys Russell of Fayetteville, Arkansas. Born in Franklin County, Russell attended what is now the University of Central Arkansas on a football scholarship and was a four-year letterman and captain of the 1940 team. He entered service in 1937 as a private in the Arkansas National Guard. He was a sergeant in December 1940 when the unit was activated for service in Alaska for World War II. He received his commission as a second lieutenant in July 1941 and was assigned to the 4th Infantry Regiment, 7th Division, whose mission was to eliminate the Japanese from the Aleutian Islands. He received his first combat wound and first Purple Heart there in May of 1943. He returned to the United States later in 1943 and in July of 1944 ordered to Europe as part of the follow-on forces to the D-Day invasion. He was assigned as Executive Officer and Company Commander for I Company, 3rd Battalion, 330th Regiment, 83rd Infantry Division. Out of 68 divisions deployed for the war, the 83rd ranked ninth in the number of combat deaths. From the period of July 1944 until March 1945, Russell received seven additional combat wounds, fighting the Germans and the Ardennes, the Battle of the Bulge, and the Hugenjin Forest. He was wounded at St. Lo in Brest, France later in the Huchenden Forest near Arken and the Roar River. He was wounded three more times in rapid succession. During the Battle of the Bulge, he was hit twice again while commanding an armored column. Once he was court-martialed on AWOL charges. He and his battalion executive officer had been ordered back to a field office and hospital for treatment. They jumped off the convoy taking them to the hospital and walking with a cane and bedroom slippers, Russell returned to his unit. During the subsequent court-martial, Major General Macon, commander of the 83rd Division, commended the two and said, quote, my court doesn't penalize men going A-W-O-L to the front, unquote. <laughs> Captain Russell was medically evacuated to the United States in May 1945, having earned the Silver Star Medal, Bronze Star Medal, and an incredible eight awards of the Purple Heart among his many decorations. He earned the Silver Star for leading numerous small unit missions through enemy lines to provide critical supplies to elements of the 101st Division, cut off from its supplies by a sudden German counterattack. Russell returned to Arkansas with the title of King of the Purple Hearts. Following World War II, he was twice elected sheriff of Franklin County, helped establish Battery C, 937th Field Artillery Battalion of the Arkansas National Guard in Ozark. He served at his, as its first battery commander and led the unit into combat during the Korean War in early 1951. In May of 1951, Battery C earned the Presidential Unit Citation for its role in halting a major Chinese offensive. Following the Korean War, he remained in the Army until his retirement in June of 1965. To this day, Lieutenant Colonel Russell is the only Arkansan to have earned eight Purple Hearts and one of only six in the United States Army to have ever done so. He is buried in the National Cemetery in Fayetteville, Arkansas. 